All right, what's going on, everyone? This is the kid, DC Russin, back at it again with another video. It's Wednesday night, and you know what that means. It is time for your October 27th edition of AEW Dynamite. Yes, after being on uh, Saturday for the past, like, what, two weeks, two, three weeks, AEW is back on Wednesdays right where they belong. We're not going to waste any time. We're going to get into it and in what was, in my opinion, Really great show tonight from Boston. You could tell that crowd was just ecstatic and just thrilled and had a really great time. We kick things off with Bobby Fish versus CM Punk. You know, this matchup is not taking place in full gear. It's taking place on Dynamite. Either way, I believe this is the first time that Bobby Fish and CM Punk have ever faced each other inside a wrestling ring. So really good action, man. All around great physical matchup to open up the show. Um, in the end, man, CM Punk, who I got to say, great job with selling the injury, man. I feel like that one of the lost art in wrestling nowadays is selling the injury. And obviously, Fish was really working Punk's knee in this match. And Punk just did a really good job with just selling the knee injury. But um, he hits the GTS with the bad knee, slow to cover. One, two, three. Even Fish was kicking out. But uh, despite all that, CM Punk... Uh, still gets the win by pinfall. So no, so Malachi, I mean, Bobby kicking out didn't count. Punk still wins. Um, so yeah, overall, despite that, because I know a lot of people were like, oh, that, that wasn't cool. But hey, overall, great match, great finish, great opener. All right, so we see Malachi Black cut a promo that basically just says that the house always wins. Cody, everyone hates you. I, I've done my job. Everyone hates you. That, that, that's, awesome you know what i'm saying so yeah great promo now we get mjf uh squash match bryce dovin i think that's the dude's name uh mjf just beats the guy one two three that's it um mjf just tears into boston talks about how you know alan is scared to show up for work after getting dropped by the pinnacle he you know just goes at sting tears in the sting and then of course we get uh, lights go out. We think we get Sting, but it's a prank. MJF, you know, Wartlow, Sean Spears, they're all laughing. But then, of course, <laughs> the lights go out again. MJF's like, all right, Sean, great jokes. But Sean was like, dude, I'm not joking. And then we see Sting come out, attacking Sean, attacking Wartlow. MJF escapes. But who's from the crowd? Pulls the mask off and stuff. It's Darby Allen, And Darby Allen is attacking uh, Wartlow with thumbtacks and Sean as Bo as was MJF escapes. Darby grabs the mic and says, Max, full gear. So MJF versus Darby Allen at full gear should be really good. Can't wait to see that. A match that could honestly be a stole show stealer at the show. Now, to me, this was the match of the night right here. The AW TNT Championship. Sammy Guevara versus All Ego. Uh, all Yeah, All Ego Ethan Page. Um, everyone was barred from ringside. And if Sammy lost, which he didn't, he was to leave the inner circle. But if he wins, inner circles uh, decides who joins men of the year in their upcoming match at full gear. And like I said, man, this was a great match. Guevara just went straight at Ethan Page before the match began. These two were just getting in some shots. I mean, it's so good that you had Tony Nice back at it again. I'm um, in the crowd watching the action. So even Tony, uh, Tony Nice was a little excited as we saw. Um, but yeah, man, just all around great match, man. Sammy was just absolutely incredible in this match. Um, Page as well, despite losing. Um, he sweeps the leg. That was Sammy Guevara. He sweeps Page's leg. Jackknife pin one, two, three. Sammy gets the win there. Scorpio Sky comes out as Paige attacks Guevara after the match, but Jericho comes out and he confirms that there will be a 5 on 5 match at full gear. It's going to be a big match because it's going to be a Minneapolis street fight per Tony Khan. And next week, they will officially decide who in America top team, who exactly are the official members of the team. So, yeah. Uh, next, we got a really good promo with both Brian Danielson and Eddie Kingston. Eddie Kingston's like, Danielson, you said I don't work hard? Bro, like, you you shouldn't talk until you walk in my shoes, a day in my shoes, dude. Like, you know, you don't know what I've been through. I, I, I've been through depression, all this stuff. You don't know what I've been through. And he walks away, but Brian's like, that is the Eddie Kingston I want to see. That 
is the Eddie Kingston I want to step in the ring with. There's a lot of tough guys out here, but Kingston and Moxley are the two toughest son of a guns I've ever been in the ring with. So, man, great promos from both men. Really excited to see their match at full rampage. My bad. Almost at full gear. Uh, we had a car Cena versus Serena D AEW TBS title tournament match. Really good match, man. Um, for a second, I thought uh, Serena was going to win, but uh, D looked for uh, her finisher, but it was reversed into a pin by Sheeta. One, two, three, Sheeta gets the win. But after the match, man, uh, Sheeta gets attacked by um, D, and D was just going in. My, like She was just going fully heel mode on this girl, and um, it was just insane, man. Like You, you can tell like, it was just crazy. You know what I'm saying? So good way for D. Um, to build heat and I'm a, I must say really nice uh, kind of like a Bret Hart attire I think many would know that Serena Deeb is heavily inspired by the legendary Bret Hart so I'm not surprised that kind of her attire kind of resembled Bret Hart here tonight so yeah all right so after all that we got uh, the AEW world title eliminator tournament match John Moxley versus 10 Oh my goodness, Moxley just straight up bloody 10. Well, he didn't bloody bloody, but he bloodied him, you know, ripped his mask apart. Uh, you know, paradigm shift. Well, 10 did get a little offensive, but it wasn't enough because Moxley hits paradigm shift one, two, three. Um, you you can just tell, man, Moxley has just been rootless in this tournament. He's most likely going to squash Orange Cassie next week, and then you know, him and Daniels in the finals now be moxie's real match in the tournament and um should be really good but uh, moxley wins there now we get cody rhodes in the ring man cody rhodes he he talks about all right he he says how he beat malachi black he was thinking about using another move the pedigree you know he talks about how that's not you know because he didn't do it though because that's the easy way out you know he doesn't matter if fans cheer him or boo him you know, he acknowledges that the crowd doesn't like him, and he's okay with that. You know, I'm I'm here to build a legacy for AEW. It's my kingdom, and so on and so forth, as Cody mentioned. Uh, Andrade comes out, Andrade's like, dude, no one likes you. You know, they don't care about you. I don't care about them. I mean, look, you got a stupid neck tattoo and everything. Um, and then, of course, the lights go out. Malachi Black come in the ring. Hey, and Andrade attack Cody and Arn. Poor Arn, he didn't have the Glock with him. But um, Pac comes out. Helps the guys, and that was that. And it is announced we are going to get uh, Cody versus Andrade next week, so should be good. All right, next we had a tag team match playa. That's right, we had uh, eight man. I think this was an eight man. Yeah, it was. Uh, Dark Order, uh, John Silver, Stu Grayson, even Uno, Coke Cabana versus the Elite. Everybody was coming out in their Halloween themes. This was a Halloween themed episode as well as a Halloween-themed main event. Um, but, of course, near the end, man, we saw Hangman Page come out. He was in disguise. He attacks the Elite, and with that, John Silver was able to pin Kenny Omega in what I thought was, it was solid, um, pretty good, solid main event. I didn't have really no problems with it. Um, and I was AEW Dynamite tonight. So, like I said, man, overall, this was a really great show, and um, I enjoyed it throughout. So, um, really good, man. So, that was my AEW Dynamite review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to subscribe to the channel. This has been the Kid DC Wrestling. And so, um, yeah.